Good morning, guys. I hope you are all doing amazing. It was a really rough one for me last night. My daughter was up all night crying. I'm not sure what's wrong. I feel like maybe she is combating something, a cold or teeth or something. So anyways, it was a long night and I ended up having to call in sick to work because I had no sleep and I had this massive headache. And to be honest, since I came back from Summit, both of my kids have been up every night since I came back, so I have not been able to recuperate so much. So I decided to take a me day and to recuperate and to just take things easy and relax, which is the reason why it's like super late for me right now. Uh, it's 8.15 and I am just about to do my workout and I wanted to come on live and just share some stuff with you guys before because that's what I love to do. And uh, it's like four hours later than I usually do it. But I'm doing it. That's what matters, right, guys? It's all about mindset. So I hope that you've learned a lot so far. And I'm trying to give you something to focus on every day because I truly believe that having that one thing to focus on, that one thing without, without distractions, that one priority, that one thing every day that you can focus on and if you achieve it it will get you one step closer to that goal of yours and that is what I'm doing and I'm actually doing a training so the one thing podcast that I've been talking to you guys about have a year-long membership that you can do and it gives you access to a whole bunch of training and I actually um, registered for that full year training because I love it very much I feel like it's simple it's something that um, is easily achievable and I feel like it's something that I can help um, maybe bring on some knowledge for you guys and for my coaches and to help my coaches as well being successful in their business and helping others get fitter and healthier. So um, I'm going to be share, I'm going to be able to share so much of that knowledge with you guys as well. But today, what I wanted to talk to you guys about is just being conscious of who you have in your surroundings because, you know, you hear that saying, uh, you are you are the top five people in your surroundings. And that is completely true because think about it. Sometimes you'll be in a situation and you're going to react completely the opposite of what you normally would do just because of who's in your surrounding. Because I know, I don't know about you guys, but that happens to me quite often where I want to say something, but I hold myself back because I know that maybe it won't be accepted by certain people that are there. Or maybe I'm going to be judged or maybe, um, you know, they're not going to like me. And I think it's just human nature to do that. So the number one solution to doing that is just surrounding yourself by the most amazing people. And that can be people, people, or it could be virtual people, virtual mentors. So that's why I'm saying personal development is such a big Thing. It's such an important tool in our lives because our minds is the most powerful thing that we have. It's like the one thing that literally, literally that makes us who we are. And so imagine if you can find tools to help control your thoughts, to help control your actions, and to help control the decisions that you're going to make to help you bring you to the next step, right? So think about it. If you could maybe take a step back from the people that are negative in your life. Take a step back from the people that you feel you can't be yourself around. I know that sometimes those can be people that are close to us and it can be a really hard decision to make, but you have to think of yourself because if you don't think about yourself, nobody else will. We are our number one person and it's super important. And that was something super hard for me to accept because I'm a person that I want to love everybody and I want to help everybody. And when people don't want my help, I really take that personally. And it's really hard for me. It's a big obstacle. It's a big struggle. And in my mind, I'm like, why doesn't that person want my help? And, you know, I just, I don't understand it. Right. So that one was probably one of my biggest obstacles and I've really learned to take that step back and be like, okay, this person currently is going through a lot of stuff. I'm going to give them all the tools that I can to help them be successful, but I'm also going to take that step back because I don't want that person to bring me down. So I'll help them. I'll give them all the tools. I'll give them, you know, the books or the podcasts that I feel could help them in that specific situation that they're in. And then I'm going to take that step back. And I personally am going to surround myself by my top mentors. And depending on what I'm going through, I've been talking to you guys about my top books for every little thing going on in my life, whether it's working on my relationship, whether it's working on getting organized because I feel such disorganization and it causes me a lot of anxiety, you know, when I'm not able to get things done because life happens. 
it causes me so much anxiety, but I have all the tools in the podcast to help me, and I've been sharing that with you guys the last few days, which brings me to my topic today, which is surround yourself by the most amazing people, especially surrounding what you are going through right now. So, you know, if it's just being positive because you're having anxiety attacks and you're struggling and you you don't know what to do, well, surround yourself by Mel Robbins with her five-second rule and listen to her book. If you're struggling in your relationship and you have a hard time overcoming a lot of thoughts, then listen to The Miracle Morning for Transforming Your Relationships. So just, there's so many tools at the tip of our fingers and it's up to us to use them to overcome those obstacles. And... They're all there. And if you don't know which one, then you send me a message. And as your coach, that's what I do. I'm more of a motivational coach, guys. You guys know that. Yes, I'm like your health and fitness coach, but I'm also more of a motivational coach because that's just what I love to do. I want to help you guys be successful in your life. I want to help you have that mental clarity of where you want to go and what you want to achieve. So the best way to do that, if you don't know which book or what podcast to listen to, you send me a message, you tell me what's going on in your life, and I'll guide you in the right way. Um, If you want like a feel good, just feeling better, maybe you have this mental fog and you're feeling down on yourself and all those things, listen to something like The Charged Life from Brendan Burchard, who always gives you his top tips on how to overcome things. Or maybe it's The Shalene Show, who like walks you through like the craziest things um, or the school of greatness from Lewis Howes like seriously those they make you listen to some of the worst stories that people have gone through but they have taken their courage they have taken all their strength and all their personal development and have overcome the toughest obstacles and and people's lives that you, you could ever imagine and those people have gone on to become some of the most amazing people in the world like you look at Tony Robbins story do you guys know his story like this guy was a four-year-old who had a mother of a, a mother as a drunk alcoholic drug addict she was shoving soap down his mouth she was shoving all sorts of stuff down his mouth to keep him quiet Tony Robbins he's like one of the like most successful people in this world Look at Oprah, same thing. This was an abused child. She was raped, she, was, she went through so many different things, abuse, rape, um, mental struggles, and you know, not being accepted, not having anybody to guide her, not having anybody to help her get through life. And look at her now, one of the most powerful persons in the world. So when you struggle, when you have issues that you're going through, take a step back, Go listen to those people's stories and you'll realize that maybe your problems are not that much of a big deal. And sometimes that can be hard to accept, but sometimes it's the best thing in the world that you can live because you know that if they were able to overcome those struggles, you can. So that's what I put myself through. That's what I surround myself with. When I'm having a tough day, I whether I'm at work or at home, it doesn't matter. It's called YouTube. YouTube. YouTube one of those people's I just talked about and listen to some of their videos. Google their name, not Google, sorry, YouTube their name, Tony Robbins, and maybe uh, Mental Struggles. And then you'll, all these videos of him giving you top tips on how to overcome mental struggles will pop up. If you want something to listen to, go on Netflix and watch Tony Robbins' I Am Not Your Guru. I swear to God, it's going to be a life-changing moment for you. And every time you have a hard time, watch that documentary. You're going to fall on your ass. So anyways, that was my thought for today. So it doesn't matter who you are, surround yourself by the most amazing people virtually, even if it's virtual, who cares? Virtual mentors are the best because you can just listen to them. Just listen to them. And if you love them that much, they all have courses, take their course. You know, if it's something that financially you can't, well, use that as that one thing and make shit happen. Maybe, you know, not buy a whole bunch of alcohol or maybe not buy I don't know a whole bunch of shoes for a month or maybe not buy a whole bunch of clothes for a month whatever that may be for you if a priority is getting your life back in order and you know that like let's say a course is $250 then try and budget and figure out you know over a couple of months where you can cut here and there 
to their building beside guys sorry um, and just see where you can cut in certain places to accumulate that money to take that course because those courses are life-changing those are the best ways that you can change that mindset they're the best ways that you can change your life and just be on a better route to feeling better so I hope you have an amazing day I hope that this was helpful and you guys know that what I love the most is helping you so Whatever question you have, whatever obstacle you have, whatever you're going through in your life and you don't know where to go, send me that message and I will guide you in the right direction. I will help you figure out which podcast, which book, or which course is better to help you overcome those struggles. Have an amazing day and get ready for day four of our fitness challenge. I hope you guys are liking Shift Shop. I'm sure having a really good time and Jacinthe's already in the next week and she says that they're even better. So I'm looking forward to it. Have an amazing day.